my god, that is an ugly goat. Here we are, miss. That is a goat shed. Oh yes, they really do have goats. Haha, <laughs> listen to, the to them bleating. They're adorable. Oh, hello. You're the fresher with a pooey shoe, aren't you? Didn't manage to get it clean? Yes, thank you. You saved me a lot of embarrassment by letting me wash it off here. Hello, I'm Catriel. You're responsible, you're responsible for looking after the goats, are you? Oh, hi there. I'm Billy. Yes, that's right. I mean, I'm a student at the university, but these goats are part of my studies. Wait. Are you a guy or a girl? I can't tell. I'm researching goat behavior, you see. Ah, so that's why you have goats on campus. It feels more like a London Zoo than a London University, just here, doesn't it? <laughs> it's really great, actually. You're welcome to hang around, hang around for a while, if you like. It's a really good way to wind down. Thank you. There is something therapeutic about watching the animals going off their business, isn't there? When I was washing, washing off my shoe before, I just found myself a little mesmerite, actually. I just stood and gazed at them for ages. Yes, I know what you mean. It somehow make you all thoughts of anything else vanish from your mind. I think he's staring at cat again. Oh. What are we doing? We we're supposed to be investigating the case! <laughs> Gosh, yes! I forgot all about it! You've been leading me up to the garden path since we got here, Ernest. You found we had someone or something to take the lead and stop us going astray. Well, surely we can manage. Mm. Okay, that's kind of funny. They're pretty much hinting at showing the future. Or... <laughs> that's kind of funny. Let's get back on track now and start telling the tale in the earnest of, of this morning again. Okay. What the? What is that going doing all the way over there? And another puzzle, why? Look, Miss Layton, up there, at the top of the, of the little tower. Yeah, it's funny that we, the way ghosts like to climb, isn't it? Oh, I didn't mean the goat. There's a puzzle hiding up there as well, do you see? What kind of falcon vision do you guys have? Jesus! Really, how fascinating! Let's try to solve it then. Boy meets girl 3. Okay. Wait, did I even make a, did I even actually do a two of this one? The boy and girl lost in a maze. Guide the mission turn along the path until they meet. Switch between controlling the boy using and the girl using L and R and move them using the directional buttons. When they try to switch, yeah, we already know all this. Wait, where's the girl? Oh, okay, the girl is there. Oh. Ah, I keep, I keep mixing up them. I may keep. Ugh. Wait. Ah, okay. I... Okay, so I need to go here. No. My bad. So I can press here. So I can go here. So I can go here, I think. I think it's like this. Yep, like that. Mm, this should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. Not that difficult. These kind of visual puzzles where I can actually control and move the pieces, I think I have a bit of an easier time. Well, for me anyway. You did it. I think it's time to stop all this larking about in labyrinths and head home. 
Which way was it again? <laughs> so yeah, I think this is the last time we're gonna see this this puzzle, the boy meet girls puzzle. It's very relaxing watching the goats here. They have such a calm and peaceful life. I know. It's awful easy to forget the time and find you've been here for hours. Okay, so that puzzle wasn't actually part of the thing you needed to solve. Okay. Oh, well, this one maybe. Look at this one, Miss Layton. It's such a sweetie. Oh, watch him. He'll eat absolutely anything, he will. Really? Yikes. He looked like he was just about to nibble my finger. <laughs> I don't think you go for him in flesh, don't worry. But he'll have the morning paper out of your hand if you let him get too close. Really? He eats paper? Actually, I think I've, uh, I think I've read that goes to do that, yes. I'm not really very good for it's not really very good for them, so I don't allow it. But some students think it's funny and feed it to them anyway. On purpose, you mean? Yeah, if they do it badly in a test, for example, they might feed their score sheets to them. I stop them if I'm here, but I can't be watching all the time. Gosh, what rooters. Yeah, because again, the joke is that goats will eat anything, including aluminum cans and the like. It looks like a lot of work caring for these goats. Yes, well, any living thing takes a lot of looking after. As a pet owner of two cats, I agree completely. It takes a lot of work. Oh, and there was this tricky situation a while ago as well. Bad tempered goats. Uh, let's see. Here we have nine goats who really don't get along. If they find themselves within the two squares of each other, vertically or horizontally, they start to fight. Luckily, they don't fight with their di diagonal for each other as separate, separated by a rock or separated by a rock. Can you place them all in positions that they won't end up fighting? Yeah, press it to hold and pick. Okay. Again, this just feels like the quote unquote obvious answer. No, it needs to be two squares away, right? Ah, within two squares, so... Yeah, because one, two, and there's a three. Okay, this one's a bit trickier. Mm. Let me see if I can figure out where this one here goes. Go, give me a second, guys. A few inches later. Oh, no, wait, wait, I just found out. I just saw, I just saw. Because, yeah, like this. Because there's a rock in between and there's vertical and he's not a... Yeah, because I was going to put him here, but then I saw... Oh, this one won't fight, but this one here will. I think this is it. So, in conclusion... Still no patch on this Layton, of course. Okay, I'm curious. Have I ever failed a puzzle with Ernest? I think I failed with Catriel and... Uh, Perfetti. Emiliana. I keep forgetting her first name. Emiliana. But with Ernest, Cheryl, and Hercule, because I think he had one, I've never missed one with them. Hmm. You did it. The atmosphere on the farm is nice and quiet and the goats look happy. Being near the rock seems to relax them. They're not getting, getting each other's goats now. Bad temper goats. Yep, that's how we had to resolve it. But you see what I mean. Yes, I see. It seems like a jolly hard work indeed. Goats eat a lot for their size, so you have to feed them regularly. Which means a lot comes out of the other end, if you know what I mean. I have a big job cleaning up all the big jobs. <laughs> I see. They certainly need a good amount of care and attention, don't they? Yes, a lot of work, but the goats are really important to us. 
Not just part of our research program either. We use their manure as a fertilizer all over campus. Really? So those wonderful blooms are thanks to these little creature creatures. I would never have guessed. The ghosts come in useful in unexpected ways, I see. Yes, they do. They are very popular with the students, actually, and with the professors. Loads of students come here to see how they are getting on. And Dr. Ohm, you know the pun genetics guy? He likes to come too. Oh, really? Dr. Ohm? Yeah, I think he finally helps to clear his mind when he's been focusing hard on his research. So he finds it relaxing toward the goats as well, just like we do. There. Adorable goats. Right, I think we look at the goats for long enough now. So you've been looking at the flowers, you trod in some goat poo, and you came here to wash it off. And then you stayed and watched the goats for a while. What did you do after that? After that I... Hmm. Oh yes, that's right, the cat! The cat? First a goat and then a cat? Yes, I was about, uh, about to head back to the faculty building when I kept jumped out across my path. So I ran after it. Don't tell me. You still end up even after, after the flowers and the goats, so you wanted to stroke a fairy feline calm yourself down. No, no! I was worried it might, might be lost, so I thought I should try and catch it and take it back to its owner. Oh, aren't you sweet? Gosh, well, I... <laughs> so, where did this cat chase take you? I actually ran back towards the roses, so I followed her there. Alright then. Well, it's, so it's back to the flower bed where we were before. Let's go. One of these days we might get to the scene of the crime. <laughs> Miss Layton seemed frustrated that my movements earlier in the day were apparently getting us nowhere fast. But in fact, an unforeseen turn of events was soon to lead us to the crime scene. Yes, yeah, this is where I followed the cat to. To these roses again. And you caught the cat here? Well, I did pick it up in my arms, but it managed to wriggle free again. I, uh, I was flustered it because it jumped straight through the open window inside the building, the one on the right. On the right? Ah, there you mean. And did you go after it again? Well, I was worried it might damage something inside, so I climbed up to look through the window. But then I slipped and fell headlong inside myself. It's because of my beautiful, uh, the beautiful roses growing right next to the window still. I was being so careful not to trample them, I got myself into a funny position and well, it made me go sort of oops-a-daisy right into the room. And the room happens to be Dr. Ohm's laboratory. So you fell into Dr. Ohm's la laboratory from the window. Is that about the size of it? Yes, exactly. It was a simple and unfortunate accident that ended up in, up in there at all. Then, as I was rubbing my head after I had taken a, no a knock, someone who I presume was a student came into the room. The cat immediately shot out of the open door and into the cor corridor before I could blink. No one else saw it. So when I told people I've been chasing a cat, everyone thought I was lying. I see. And that's how I came to be a suspect. Yes, they thought I was a burglar. So when I had to be questioned by the police, so I had to be questioned by the police. Finally then, we've reached the scene of the crime. I see how your movements this morning led you here now. Well, Miss Layton, do you think you can prove my innocence? All I can think to all I can think I can prove at the moment is that you're incredibly unlucky. Oh, I I think everyone knows that already. <laughs> but you have had one stroke of luck today, Ernest. What's that? You met me! Don't worry, I'll work something out. Probably. Yeah, I do hope you can, miss. Well, don't take a closer look at his window. Wait, why don't we take a closer look at the window, which you managed to oops a daisy your way through? Hey, Nix, welcome back. We were talking, we were just talking about a cat, you know. Hey, is this a kitty? Oh, there it is. That's the cat I was chasing. I wonder if it belongs to anyone. 
doesn't seem to be lost, really, does it? That's the way out of, out of here, puss. If you finish what you came for, you better be getting home. Yeah. Gosh, can you speak to animals, miss? Of course! It's what every gentleman does. Well, every gentleman with their salt, anyway. I say, I was piffing. Ernest, please, I'm pulling your leg. Animals can talk. Everybody knows that. Mm, I mean... Fair, I suppose? Oh... Nix, lay down. There, thank you. Oh, you got me there. <laughs> How silly of me. I think this is the window, right? Yep. Ah, probably this one. This is the window, isn't it? The one by which the cat and then you entered the laboratory? Yes, it was open, a slither, and the cat squeezed through. Alright then, let's follow in your footstep and squeeze in as well. Wait, we can do that, Miss Layton. Why not? Because you can just climb into rooms through windows. But if you're following in your footsteps, we have to. Yes, I understand, but we could get in trouble. More trouble. The police might start saying that you're a thief as well. Hmm, I suppose you have a point. So what do you suggest? You go around and go around in and through the main entrance? That seems a bit dull. I I think that might be the for the best, miss. Just this once. Follow my little footstep would finally arrive at the scene of the crime after a lot of to toy and froing. We would soon be in Dr. Holmes' laboratory where the truth behind this case would be revealed, or so I hoped. Finally, we're going to go inside. Well, this place really hasn't changed at all. I've done it, Miss Layton. I finally properly entered Gre Grayson Heller University. Not through a window, but likely through the front door. <laughs> I think you might be alone in your excitement about this, Ernest. So let's find our way to Dr. Holmes' laboratory, shall we? Time for the essence. Time oh, time is of the essence. Oi, you two! Oh no, it's him again. Who's him, eh? The cat's mother? Uh, it's Inspector Aces to you, Sunshine. Hello, Inspector. I think we just saw your cat, actually. Is that right here? Have you lost it? Eh, are you trying to be funny, miss? I'm, I'm investigating the case, as, a very, as you very well know. Yes, of course. The case of Dr. Holmes' stolen research papers. Have you discovered any new information? No, we haven't got any new, new leads yet. We're just... Hang on. Why am I telling you anything? Keep your nose out of police business. Tisk, I thought I had you there for a moment. You think I thought I'd fall for a cheap trick like that? You'll be lucky. I thought I told you to go back to the yard, didn't I? So what are you doing here? We're also investigating the case. I thought I could prove Ernest was innocent. Innocent? Good luck with that. This idea is a prime suspect. But I really didn't do it. There's no point here the pretense, sunshine. Holmes himself has made a statement saying he's sure you're the culprit. You're the only one who could have done it. The one who probably did it was Holmes, wasn't it? Dr. Holmes, he, he thinks I'm guilty too? Anyway, the prof side is off limit, you hear? From now on, no one goes in there without permission. But Inspector, we won't be able to... Very well. Good. I'm glad we understood each other. Now clear off, we're getting under my feet here. I, I suppose I'll have to give up then. And Greaves, don't go off on any unannounced holidays, eh? We'll be aiding you down in the yard again before long. Uh, could I just clarify something, Inspector? You said that people without permission aren't allowed into a laboratory, didn't you? So, presum so presumably, if you had permission, you'd be granted entry. Yeah, obviously. But a prime suspect and the unrelated members of the public aren't gonna get it. I'm in charge here, so what I says goes. 
All very clear, thank you. Come along then, Ernest. Where are we going, miss? Just follow me. Believe me, a single woman living alone in London doesn't let things... Little things like this stop them. Oh, um, alright then. I did say I trust you, so... I thought Inspector Hastings' appearance was going to put a stop to our investigation, there and then. But, but Miss Layton wasn't giving up. She seemed to have a plan. I resolved again to put my faith in her and followed as she walked away. Oh, I thought it was someone I could talk to. Apparently not. I'm just seeing if there's anything here I can find. Oh. Yeah, when this small and specific, it tends to be... Hint coin, yeah. Okay... Wait... Uh, there. Okay, it's another classroom. Wait... Oh, come on! I thought I was gonna find one and just... It's just another... Th puzzle, of course. A puzzle behind you on a nose board. Haha, <laughs> so grass and heller. I suppose that means it's a student level puzzle, does it? Perhaps I should try and solve it. Okay, now that makes more sense for you to try and solve it. Number cruncher. Uh, five addition sums. Oh, just a second. Let me see if uh, if the recording has stopped. Okay, no, it's still going. I have to. I say that because Nix is laying here, and one time when she apparently she ended up stopping the recording. I didn't notice. Five addition sums have been drawn on the blackboard, but some of the numbers have been omitted, with either a dotted circle or a dotted square in the in the place. The numbers 1 to 8 go on the dotted circles, and you can only use each number once. Also, reading from left to right along each row of numbers, the digits must appear in ascending order. Which number goes into the... Oh, is it talking about this? Oh, okay. A lot of boring math later. Okay, after a bit of math... I want to say it's 13, right? Please don't let me be wrong with this. If you'll entertain my idea here. Still no patch on this Layton, of course. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You did it, the sum themselves are simple. Once you know what the numbers you have to add up are. I did it, I solved it. Yes, you're a real grass and heller boy now. Well done. Oh, you're too kind, Miss Layton. Haha. <laughs> I don't think she was being kind there. I just think she was being, you know... Catriel. Oh. Classic carving. I want to ask something. Oh. Let's go out here. Where are we going, miss? We need to get permission to enter the lab. As happens, I was coming here today to meet with someone who may be able to help us in that regard. I'm sure he'll say we're allowed into the lab. Really? But I thought Inspector Hasty was in charge. The problem is where to find him. Perhaps we should ask the detective over there if he's seen him. Oh yes, alright. Excuse me, DC Booker, could I ask you something? I wonder if you've seen Dean Delmona around anywhere. The Dean? Well, according to my notes here, yes, I was, I was also looking for him. It seems I wanted to ask him some questions, but apparently, if my notes are to be believed, he was off campus. Oh dear, off campus? Do you happen to know where he's gone? To Scotland Yard, as, of a, as far as I know, to meet with Inspector Hastings. Oh, but we just saw the inspector inside. They've obviously missed each other then. Yes, I am. Um, I'll just note that down. Well, it looks like you'll have to head back to Scotland Yard ourselves then. We have to find the dean. So that's why you want to talk about getting, getting entry to the Dr. Home Laboratory? 
Yes, I need to discuss. I need to discuss some things with him. Gosh, I can't believe you know the dean, Miss Layton. That's amazing. He's been the head of Grassland Hair University for donkey's years. He must be one of the most famous people in London. Actually, it's my father who knows the dean, really, not me. Your father? I'll explain some other time. For now, I must hurry back to Scotland Yard. Yes, you're quite right. You don't want to end up passing each other as well. No, so let's get a move on. Together, we hurried back to Scotland Yard. I would still rather be amused by Miss Lita's acquaintance with the Dean. How does this young detective woman come to know one of the country's most permanent scholars? Or per eminent? <coughs> You're, we arrived at Scotland Yard. You know, this honestly feels to me like padding more than anything for the case. Now then, where is he? Ah, there he is over there. Oh yes, it truly really is him. Have you ever met him before, Ernest? No, never. At the welcome ceremony, he just sat a little dot up on stage and at the front hall. Gosh, my palms are sweating. I mean, am I really about to meet the most important person in the whole of Grass and Heller? No time for nerves, come along. Oh yeah, he's like I ended up meeting the other on the last case. Hello, Dean. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Catriel! Catriel Leighton. Well, bless my cotton socks. I most certainly has been a long it most certainly has been a long time. How are you, my girl? Very well, thank you. You haven't changed at all. Haha, <laughs> tell me, how's your father? I haven't seen him in a while, actually, either. No, he's gone missing. What? Missing? Yes, they're looking to it uh, here at Scotland Yard as it happens, but nothing yet. That's actually what I want to see. Yikes, don't. Uh, just a second, guys. Nix, I'm happy that you want to be with me, but could you don't, no, don't, don't kick the mic, don't, 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 stop, no! Oh boy. Just lay down, people. I tried to pick Nix up and she showed her the satisfaction of that by kicking the mic. Anyways, that's exactly why I wanted to see you. Have you do you know where he might have gone? I have absolutely no idea. I'm terribly sorry, Catriel. I wish you could be more helpful. Still, I wouldn't worry about old Herschel. Wherever he is, I'm sure he's perfectly fine. No doubt he'll show up again soon enough, as there's nothing had to happen. Yes, I'm sure you're right. No, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. My granddaughter had, has just sent me another puzzle on the post. Sorry, but I can't, can't for the life of me see how to solve it. Do you mind having a look at it? Two types of tile three. Wait. Yeah, this the the same kind of puzzle. Okay. Some colorful tiling has been left with a few gaps. Can you use the two types of tile to fill in the area. We already know all that. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll be with you guys in a second. Hold on. Three weeks later. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it? Are you seeing stars now? You should be... It was hard work, but not completely futile. Okay. Two types of tile, three. Of course, that's how it's done. Well, thank you, Catriel. I won't have to disappoint my little angel now. What a relief. Glad to have enough assistance. I came down here to Scotland Yard to meet with Inspector Hastings. But I can't find the man anywhere. That's because at the university, I'm afraid. Oh, I mean, we just missed each other, did we? How irritating. I hear there's been an incident on campus. A theft? Yes, yeah, a nasty business. That's what I'd come to talk to the inspector about. 
I'd like to ask for permission to investigate the case myself, Dean. You? Catriel? Yes, I'll get to the bottom of it. But the police are already full in their way with their own investigation. I'm aware of that. But I think perhaps a different perspective might be called for. I may be able to see things in a way the police can't. Hmm. Alright then. I can't really see any harm in it. I'll allow it. If you if you've your if you're your father sorry. If you've your father's crime solving skills, no doubt you'll see it to the heart of the matter in, in an instant. Thank you. So you'll permit us to into a do Dr. Holmes laboratory, I presume. The scene of the crime? Yes, yes, of course. We have free reign over the entire university for this, Catriel. Wonderful. In that case, we'll be getting straight down to business. Good luck. I like this cleared up as soon as possible. The repetition of the, uni will, the, of the university will suffer if it drags on. I say, that was a bre beezer. Double beezer. You are chatting with the dean as if you were old friends. And more importantly, it has given us the permission we need to investigate the laboratory. Yes, Inspector Hasty won't be able to turn us away now. No, he won't. So let's get back there and rub his extra large nose in it. <laughs> so he managed to obtain the permission to we need to enter Dr. Holmes' laboratory and investigate. I was as perplexed as ever by Miss Layton's especially by Miss Layton. Especially after the familiar tone she seemed to be to be able to adopt with Dean Delmona. I'm not actually sure that's how it works, but uh, 